Hey guys, John Chewedian over here at Stockton 12 Honda celebrating Mustache March. And the answer to your question is no, I'm not shaving right here. It just doesn't grow, unfortunately. But on to better things, one of the things that I want to show you today is actually how to set your wallpaper on your IMID. Now this is a function that's on a lot of the new Hondas. A lot of people don't even realize you can do it. This will be the first sequence in a couple videos of what you can actually do with this fantastic uh, feature. So let's go take a look at the car. Alright guys, here's the vehicle we're going to be working with. This is an LX Coupe Civic. I chose this just because it's a baser model and you should know that even on the base models you can do this. First thing I did was I actually plugged in a flash drive I borrowed from someone down in service. Now, once you plug that in, you're going to go here to your IMID. First things first, you're going to hit menu. And right there, you're going to actually see a couple different features here. First thing you're going to do is go to customize settings. Then you're going to go to display setup. And once again, I'm controlling this with uh, my at will controls, pressing right to select what I need to. Now since I plugged in a flash drive, right there you'll see import wallpaper. I'm going to pick that. Now there are a lot of different images here, so I'm going to scroll down. And right here you'll actually see the one I'm going to be uploading. And I'm going to press right again to select it. And this is probably a good time to tell you that <laughs> the 2012 Honda Civic was actually voted Best Resale Value Award winner by Kelly Blue Book, and you can actually see that on their website. But I'm actually going to be picking this, so I'm going to hit the center button, Save, and it's going to ask me where to save this, and I can pick image 1, 2, or 3. I'm going to pick image 2. You actually have the ability to save up to three different images. Now it's going to save. Now one thing you want to make sure of during this portion you don't want to turn the ignition off, otherwise it won't save it. It may actually corrupt some data on the other uh, images that you may have saved as well. It takes a little bit of time. One big thing you want to make sure of is as you're saving these images to a flash drive, you want to make sure that you save them in the JPEG format. Uh, I don't think it's necessary, but usually it's the best image quality and uh, it's a little easier just to make sure things are standard as you're saving it. Now once you save this on to the hard drive of the car, I'm going to show you how to actually select it. So once again, do not turn off your ignition as this is going on. Now once that happens, I'm going to go to, I'm going to actually exit out of here. Now once I've imported the wallpaper, I'm going to go to select wallpaper. And you have the option of the clock. And I also have, I saved it twice, image 2, I'm going to pick this and now it's been selected. Now I'm going to hit menu to exit and as I scroll through the pages here you'll see the I button here. You can actually scroll through. This is supposed to be the audio screen but it's off. I'm going to press that. This is your average fuel uh, range still empty. And then this is just your blank screen if you don't want to look at anything. And right there's your wallpaper. Now you can use this to have family photos, pictures of your dog, picture of yourself, uh, anything that cheers you up while you're driving, anything besides a plain black screen that may keep you cheery as you're driving. So that's basically how you do that, a lot of different options. And stay tuned, next video that I'm going to be doing is going to show you a couple other cool things you can do with the IMID. Looking forward to seeing you then.